What's going on guys? It's been a while. I haven't posted new videos and updates since uh, June uh, 2022. Uh, to be honest with you, I just want to take a break. The trucking has been steadily getting worse and worse uh, in terms of money. And, uh, you know, if it was a, a crisis before a recession, now it's a, a fixing to be a catastrophe, basically. Uh, what's happening? The rates have been slowly going down every week. Uh, just cutting down of the fuel prices are high. We were looking at about 5.30 diesel on average uh, in the Midwest and uh, central states, and you're looking at 6, 6.30 and higher on the coast, uh, northeast and west coast. Uh, yeah, the rates are terrible, guys. They're, right now, brokers are pushing definitely under $2 a mile. If you're owner-operator, you basically know your cost. Uh, most people break even somewhere around $1.60 somewhere. There's just to break even. That's not paying a driver or anything like that. So... Uh, yeah, you'll be very much screwed at this point if you are got high payments or anything like that. If you bought a truck uh, within last year when a uh, used truck was selling for $150,000 for a bobtail that's uh, 500,000 miles and then plus the trailer, you know, the guys with a $6,000 payments right now going under left and right, there's just no money in this. So I'm struggling big time right now just uh, trying to earn a little bit of money to send home. Luckily, I uh, was able to pay off my truck and trailer. I have a note on that, but uh, just uh, sending uh, money home, paying for a house, and, and, and feeding the kids is a struggle right now because a lot of loads are so cheap. You know, dollar forty, dollar fifty. Brokers canceling on you these loads. Uh, I don't know, man. This is, uh, end of October. I'm coming up on the November. It's supposed to be getting busy at this point, and it's not. So I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. If, if this is our busy season, uh, what's going to happen February, March? Uh, it, it, it's fixing to be, it's going to be a bloodbath in this industry. There's going to be companies going under. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're a company driver, the only, uh, all I can say is uh, be a good driver because there's going to be company drivers going to be let go. There's going to be companies that are going to fold up and one day you may find out, unfortunately, that your fuel car doesn't work and... Uh, uh, the, the trucks are getting uh, impounded at truck stops, whatever they are. So uh, this is all coming, guys. This is not something I'm, uh, you know, making shit up. I'm not into doom and gloom. Unfortunately, I have to live this reality, survive, struggle. Uh, however, I must. I, I shall continue on as long as I can. I will fight this fight to the end. I have family to feed, uh, and I have no other choice. So. And that's a lot of people like feel the same way, a lot of drivers, you know, in this situation. And uh, I don't know where the economy is going with this rate here. Uh, we have too many trucks on the road. Uh, the rates are down, way down. Uh, the freight volume is down. Uh, so it's a bad situation all around. Uh, me, myself, right now, I'm in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, trying to get loaded. There's a huge line of trucks. And uh, it's been taking a couple hours to just get to the check-in. We're slowly creeping up. But um, hopefully I'll get loaded and uh, take this load down to uh, Tampa area. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll make this short and sweet. That's an update. I really don't have any good news, so I'm kind of not making videos because I'm, I'm just bouncing short loads here and there, just whatever, to make profit and not burn a lot of fuel. It's mostly just uh, overnight or day overlay, uh, whatever, you know, short trips. I don't have a lot of uh, cool trips to Canada or I don't take any long trips anymore to West Coast. There's just not, it's not financially feasible to do that anymore. Um, as an owner operator, I make money per load, not, not per mile. So for me, it's best to take uh, with a very short load that, that pays uh, $1,000 for 200 miles and just sit spend the entire day on that load then I drive thousand miles uh, because just the cost of fuel wear and tear on the truck a uh, short load is where it's at right now for me oh 